What's going on guys? Just want to do a quick video here um, outlining a little bit about this build so you guys have a little more information on what you're, uh, what you're looking at and what you can expect. Uh, before we get into the build itself, uh, quick heads up, the background here can be bought off Amazon. I think it's $19.99 for that big old Hulk. Uh, it's a wall, a decal, kind of cool. Looks like it's coming out of the wall towards the build itself. And then this right here is in LED light, uh, multiple settings as far as how the brightness comes out, whether it's uh, dim or has that bright or the yellow look. And you can change the RGB base from red, blue, and green. So kind of fun. I can change it up for different builds I do. For this particular build, I went ahead and threw on a Hulk fist for the button here uh, that changes up the different brightnesses. So kind of fun, cool. And this RGB base here uh, is neat because you can do the red, blue, and green. So yeah, that's a little extra. Uh, as far as the build itself goes though, we've got a 4K Samsung monitor here and it does have FreeSync which is going to work in tandem with our um, AMD Radeon graphics card. So that's nice, helps with screen tearing to keep it to a minimum, even if you have VSync turned off. As far as the mouse and keyboard goes, I've got both of these are Razer. Uh, this is a Razer Basilisk, which I really like for the clutch button. I know it's hard to see, and I apologize for that uh, with the brightness here. Very comfortable mouse. You've got two dedicated buttons on the side, and then that clutch button right there, which is great for first-person shooters. And you can actually change the tension underneath on your um, scroll wheel here. So for changing weapons and stuff, you can change... Um, the tension on that and then this one here is the Black Widow razor as well got both of these set to purple with the RGB mouse pad set to green and really really like this keyboard I've got yellow switches on this one which is linear and silent I know it doesn't sound very silent but compared to like the louder mechanical keys um, this one's actually pretty quiet I like the dedicated uh, media keys here and then a scroll wheel for the volume here is kind of nice. And then um, I threw a little, uh, well, it's it's a decal. I was going to say sticker, but uh, since Bruce Banner turned into the Hulk via, uh, well, it was radiation, gamma radiation, sorry. So threw that on there, went with it, kind of fun. Uh, background here, really like that. Fun background, purple and green, original Hulk colors, which matches the rest of the build, which as you can see is purple and green. Moving on to the build itself, we got a case here. This is actually a uh, kind of a no-name uh, case. It's by Sama, or Sama, and uh, you can't really see it here. Let me see if I can kind of get the angle there. You kind of see it. Again, sorry for the lighting, I apologize. It's S-A-M-A, -A. there it is. And uh, up here we've got two uh, 3.0s and two regulars um, <clears throat> for the uh, USB. Then you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a, uh, a microphone. And then this right here switches the fans from low to off and then to high. I've got it set to low right now. Pretty quiet at low, not too bad. This button right here, if I can kind of get it there, capture it, trying. That'll change your RGB lighting for these two strips that run in here. You can change it to a whole bunch of different colors. And um, you can have it like in streaming mode or flashing or different things. I like the solid for this particular build. Um, you've got real metal grates here. So for when it's exhausting air out the sides, you've got nice big metal grates there. Uh, fans are pushing air out. And then for the front here, you've got the metal grates again. So when it's sucking in cool air, you actually have nice big areas where it can pull in cool air. Got that nice hog fist there on the front. This is a powerful build, powerful fist, kind of goes together. Moving on to the side here, you have a small uh, LED screen here, which is controllable via switch in the back. Oh, there it goes, turns off when you're not using it, don't need it, you can turn it off when you want it. You can turn it right back on again and it will instantly recognize its uh, display settings. Little Hulk uh, moniker there with a face in the background. It's kind of cool. This is a custom pop here. Let's see if we can get it to move. There it goes. It's moving. Um, this actually was the Christmas pop for the Hulk. 
has the purple and green skin. You can't really see it there just because of the RGB lighting behind it. And uh, I went ahead and put a ripped out power cable in his hand. Thought it looked really cool, kind of fun there. You had your 5700 uh, X right there for the uh, GPU. And then this right here is an, uh, an Arctic uh, eSport cooler that goes on the 3600 AMD processor. Threw a little fist on the side there. You've got two gig, or I'm sorry, two eight gigabyte sticks of 3200 RAM uh, with RGB lighting on the outside of them. Got a nice little Hulk emblem there, sticker there. Oh, it's actually a decal to be exact. That thing's gonna stay on there. And it kind of looks like, you can't really see it from here, but there's uh, one of the fasteners here for the tempered glass side panel. Looks like he's holding on to that, kind of swinging from it. Uh, nice look. If you can see inside there, and I apologize again for the lighting, super clean cable management. You really can't see any cables there. I mean, this thing is, it's one of my specialities is uh, really clean cable management. And this thing is clean inside. You got uh, two fans here pulling in cool air. And you got two fans exhausting cool air. Uh, there's a small fan on the bottom here pulling cool air to feed the 650 uh, PSU. It is modular. Um, mostly modular. The main power power cable there is uh, affixed to the power supply, but everything else is modular. So, and it is a bronze power supply by EVGA. Um, as far as the power, or I'm sorry, as far as the GPU goes, these 5700s uh, have an issue with cooling. I've done some custom work on this. I've actually opened up the graphics card, replaced the thermal paste, replaced the thermal pads and then did some custom work to the back of this machine. You're not going to really be able to see it, and I apologize for that, but uh, I actually opened up this back where it can cool it properly. A lot of these machines have a bunch of junk back there that blocks the GPU from cooling properly, and I did some custom work with the Dremel to make sure this thing can actually cool the way it's supposed to. So, minimum uh, USB cables because for this build, I actually have, running into my desk there, a USB um, hub, so I can run most of my stuff off that hub, and you can do the same thing. Uh, this cable here is running to your uh, small mini screen inside of the case. This is running to the monitor. This right here is my uh, internet cable, and then you've got the red here goes to the hub, and the white here actually goes to the... Um, the DAC here in the front which gives me much better sound. This gives me, um, I'm using a pair of Planar open back headphones by hi Feynman, and I've got a DAC hooked up and that gives me much better sound stage for playing Modern Warfare, Apex and things like that. This actually lets me adjust the bass and the treble, the volume, and it just gives a much better 3D sound stage. Um, in my opinion, even better than your quote unquote surround sound headphones. So, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, this build will play most games um, at 4K at 30 to 60 frames per second, and it will absolutely decimate all games at 2K. So with a 4K monitor like this, I can set it to 2K if I want to get super high frames per second, or if I want to play a single player game with really, really sharp, crisp visuals, that just go above and beyond. I can set it to 4K and play it in that 30 to 60 range. So very powerful build. Will handle most games you throw at it at 4K. And if you're going for that competitive first person shooter, then you can do 2K, which is more than enough, honestly. 2K is really all you need. Um, <clears throat> and it'll play that and you'll get 60 to 90 frames per second on Ultra. So really, really powerful build here. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will be too. So thanks for taking a few moments to look. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day and look forward to the next build. Take care. Bye-bye.